Hello Ash. Hello. So you're back from Japan. Yes. And um, we're doing a kind of series and here's one of my blue houses, although it's like a grey colour blue. Um, we're doing a series on uh, deals, what went right, what went wrong, um, how we evaluate and how we still managed to make it turn out right even though things went wrong at the time. Yeah. It's fair enough. In a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> so where are we at the moment? Uh, we're outside Bog Street. Yeah. Uh, in St. Werberg's. Yeah. Which is a really um, cute location, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. It's fairly close to the city centre. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a nice spot. Yeah. Very chilled. Uh, so um, I came walking on Sunday in Mog uh, down St Werberg's and there's a whole bunch of hippies live around here. There's lots of eco houses. Uh, yeah, I saw nice. your friend Josh. Yes, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there was a whole bunch of tents with some glitter balls. So it's that kind of vibe. Very cool. It's very Bristol. Yes. And what's happening in this area? Um, it's becoming more and more. Well, it's it's it's, it's been popular for a while, um, for quite a while actually. Um, and you've got uh, a mixture of people who are kind of first-time buyers and second-time buyers. Um, most of the houses around here are old miners' cottages, um, so they're all two, three beds. Um, but it all looks pretty good, yeah. yeah it's it's nice. all very cute. Yeah. Cool. So tell me about this property. Um, so this one, um, we bought, I can't remember the date, I think it was 2014 or 2013, something yeah. like that. Um, bought for 150 bought it off um, a local agent. Um, it, at the time it was a deceased estate yeah. um, person who'd lived in it and not done anything to it for ever um, let's say I remember um, the drain pipe uh, fed into the bath yeah it was it was you know it's quite a sad one really actually you know someone was living in it um, it's not great but um, yes yeah, so we managed to pick it up from from the agent and we ended up paying 150 for it um, the refurb now, originally we had planned to... Um, yes, T tell us about the first cock Yeah, so originally <laughs> we had planned to do it as a multi-let. Yes. Um, and then on closer inspection, after refurb had started, uh, we found out it was in an Article 4 area. To be fair, to be fair, we planned to do it as a multi-let. This was quite early on. Um, I had phoned, the, I had phoned the, the letting or the private landlord support team that, that kind of advises landlords in the council and said, can I do it as a multi-let? They'd said yes. Um, but what we hadn't done was check the planning consultation website yeah. to show what area That's it was true. in. So to be fair, we'd asked the council, so we thought that was enough, but we went early, we were new, mm -hmm. and then uh, one of our neighbours reported us, um, which was great, um, the planning department came down like a ton of bricks and said, you can't do it. And I was like, well, yes we can, because we've already talked to you guys in the council. And they went, no, you yeah. can't. So tip number one. Check. And how do you check? Uh, go onto your local planning website and then if you put in the, um, normally if you put in the postcode and the address uh, there will be a section where it's got constraints I think yes. um, and under that it will tell you whether you're in Article 4 or not. Cool. Um, and you, you know, you might still be able to do it as a multi-let but they, seek uh, permission when, beforehand. <laughs> when I phoned up the planning department they said not a cat's, uh, snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> so yeah. we stopped. So you've got a deal report with you? Deal this report. was deal number 73 73 bless little cookie and how much did we say it was worth uh 218 218, 218, and 218 yeah. how much after the refurb um did we get it revalued for uh 250 and that was rick's survey that was yeah that was um part of the remortgage that was worth 250 on that side of things grand so we were 32 grand under valuation yeah on that one yes 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 indeed um and then so yeah, that, I mean, <coughs> that's based on it, just uh, bricks and mortar. Yes. Um, it's rented out now on an AST. Yes. Uh, currently getting uh, 1150 a month, I Grand. think. Yes. Grand, which isn't bad. It's um, not too bad, you know, in an area like this where you've got capital growth, you know. It's Tell me about the capital growth. Um, well, um, it was again remortgaged in 2016, yeah. early 2016, um, at 310. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, fairly good uplift in value, I think. So figures bought for one fifty. Yeah. What was the refurb? Forty. Forty, revalued at two fifty within six months. Rick's valuation. Yeah. And then a couple of years later, revalued at three ten. It's not bad. Mm. Um. So the first mistake was. <laughs> uh. Yeah. The uh, article four. The check. article four. Yeah. Check with the right department. Yeah. And then I think in the car I was talking about how I'd made another mistake. Um, possibly, what we say. All oh, right, okay. So over here, oh is, yes, is another house. Uh, shall I come? Shall I come in? Do you want to? 
Uh, to, uh, carry on. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story. So um, basically, um, in the process of Susanna buying this property here, um, she uh, noticed that uh, a few doors down the road on the other side, um, there was a property that looked a bit ropey. Um, I think the gas people, I think were, the gas people were breaking in yeah. for an unpaid bill or something like that. So, yeah. um, however, Susanna was um, uh, a little bit too polite to go knock on the door to see if she could get a, a, um, a property and you know potentially help that person out. But there you go. I think it has now since been done up. And, yes, it was. You know, yeah. It was so done up six months later. Yeah. Yeah. Someone was not too polite. But you know. So we could have bought something for two, like maybe 150 again and had it revalued a couple of years later for 310 but mm. I was too polite. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. So what we want to do here is um, show you guys some deals. Um, oh, could you show how you evaluate the valuation on uh, the deal? Yeah, I can show you briefly. Um, so deal report. So this is a deal report. Um, so front page with headline figures, if you like. Second page with a bit of detail about lettings normally, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and quite often a bit about property condition. Yeah. Um, you know, just kind of possibly what might need doing and things like that. A um, bit about local area, which is quite important. Yeah. Um, you know, um, and then location where it is in terms of the city. Yeah. Um, and then some valuations from estate agents. Yeah. So we'll call people up and ask them what they think it'd be worth. You know, a two-bed house in St. Werberg's done up you know fairly good condition uh, what they think it'd be worth get a range and then we put oh, and, and when we did this I mean we don't take investors on anymore but we always gave the estate agent name the brand name mm -hmm. the branch name and their phone number so yeah. they could double check couldn't yeah, they yeah, yeah that's right and then um, put in some sold prices so these know. were properties that sold yeah. very close by yeah nearby all within like quarter mile half mile something like that and then we put in some right move comparable listings just to see what else is there yeah you know what's on the market or being sold recently yeah um yeah and then quite often we'll put in some rental ones we did as, well. as well yeah cool um which is good and then yeah just a back page with just a breakdown yeah yeah and that kind of gave all our investors real openness didn't it yes um, that's right. they could see kind of like four or five estate agent numbers anything up to 20 solds, anything up to yeah, 20 on the you know, market? We just try and put in as much information as we can really, just to give you an idea, um, just, you know, uh, what's available, what solds, that kind of thing, um, and as to what to expect, you know, when you come to the other side of the project, when it's done. So I guess um, it shows you can still make two cock-ups uh, and still come out <laughs> yeah. well the other side. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, you know, one of the cock-ups, it doesn't count for this one. Um, Counts overall. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, certainly check about Article 4 because I, th I think, um, you know, the, the boundaries change regularly and stuff like that. So it's always worth checking just to be on the, on the safe side. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome.